Lucy, welcome to everybody. Uh, this is the. It's not simply the presentation of the artworks of Andy. Yeah, it's not funeral. Yeah. It's yeah. just no. pop art. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, really. Okay. Uh, it's also the birthday of the restaurant, so it's very uh, special day for me because after one year, that it wasn't easy uh, for me. Uh, it was an exciting new uh, new adventure, and I want to to mix up a very special event for the first year. Uh, Andy, we met quite uh, quite a few times ago, basically, but we, f we fell in love with an idea of the fact that art is not simply painting, it's not simply uh, mix a sculpture, but it's, it's also on the food, the color of the food, and and try to mix in the same in the same place everything uh, paintings food music and create uh, an experience a complete experience is the uh, it was our objective not simply put some paintings on the wall not simply make some dishes not simply put some music in the background but make something special. Uh, obviously, I must say thank you, Andy, for your thank paintings you. and to be here. And, and I must say thank you also to uh, this special man, that is Mr. Uh, Edward Lucy Smith, that we met also quite very late in the year, but we felt he, he likes our idea. We start to to talk about and we decided that this one it could be the place to create a revolution about Italian culture and the Italian expression of the Italian culture in the restaurant. So not simply be uh, us, but try to mix a group of people uh, who works on this idea and mix a number of events during the year to explain which is the connection between the art and not see the art on the whole world of the art, not simply paintings or sculpture, but it could be also what is the background, the people who work on the background for makes this happen and, uh, and explain to the people during the year. But before Mr. Smith, if you want to say something. Well, thank you very much. Um, one of the things which I think has been uh, lacking in London, even though it is nowadays, I believe, the most cosmopolitan city in the world, uh, with the greatest range of different kinds of artistic expression, um, has been quite simply a place to talk a place where we could meet and where we could exchange ideas, not simply uh, with one person speaking down to another, instructing another at all, but meet as equals, exchange ideas in the way that artists used to do, for example, in the 19th century. And his paintings which are uh, shown here and which uh, will be, I hope, uh, part of uh, part of what will be, in due course, perhaps a whole series of different events, um, are in a way particularly suitable because uh, they represent um, elements in the Italian spirit which other countries have always liked. Um, yeah. That is, they're amusing, they're hedonistic, um, they are very much aware of the state of modern culture, but nevertheless, they hang on, just like this Madonna child of St. John, to old established uh, Italian traditions. And the reason why Italy has always been a kind of bond uh, among cultured people of other nationalities is precisely that that the visual arts have always counted for so much 
in Italian culture. And these pictures refresh aspects of the Italian spirit and are therefore, I think, particularly suitable to this occasion, in addition to being extremely nice to look at in themselves. Um, what we really need, I think, and what I hope will happen, these things have to grow organically, you can't impose them on people, um, is to create a situation, as I say, where people can talk, where they can change, exchange ideas, where they can feel at ease. Uh, this space is very well situated in the city. Um, it's a comfortable size, neither too small nor too large. And, of course, you have uh, the additional attraction uh, that you're going to eat very well here. I had an absolutely delicious lunch early yesterday. I'm still dreaming about it. Um, and those kind of arts, the arts of what the French call the douce de vivre, I think are very important in moving the whole artistic uh, situation forward. We have so much dogmatism in the art world at the moment. This is right, that is not, this is avant-garde, that is not. We need to forget about all those things. In a way, it's even doubtful whether the idea of an avant-garde is viable anymore. That is, have we reached the stage where the old avant-garde, the avant-garde which began at the beginning of the 20th century and which is now um, getting on, which is now more than a century old, whether that concept really works anymore. Um, I see people struggling with this all the time uh, in journalistic terms, uh, that I have seen endless lists recently, the most significant works of our age, the most significant works of that, the only artists that count, all this kind of thing. There's absolutely no structure. Um, and we need uh, discussion. We need to know, for example, whether we are to think of, 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 of art, the modern arts, as a kind of religion, whether it's simply about charisma, whether museums are the new cathedrals, or whether we are allowed, perhaps, to be just a little more uh, frivolous than that, whether we have to think of every new artist we, we meet as a potential St. Francis of, of Assisi, uh, about to display the uh, stigmata for our edification, um, or whether there are other things which art can usefully do. Uh, but above all, and I think I would like to, to, to end by saying this, I think the great Italian principle in the arts has always been that art is about pleasure. Well, just think, we've had a good time this evening, I think all of us. Well, there's the potential here to create a continuing source of pleasure, a continuing hub associated with pleasure, a place where we can all enjoy ourselves as well as learning something new. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Now is the time when I have to speak after. All right. Uh, so I think it's really difficult for Italian artists uh, to come in London with uh, his kind of pop art. And I try to reflect uh, by my DNA, and I, I think about how much I like the big stars. I learned the lesson from, from Brixton, of a David Bowie lesson, and I try to explain my uh, ironic way in that sculptures. In London, you have uh, Aladdin Sane and David Bowie. In Italy, I can. Uh, I can see Michelangelo Buonarroti, Rinascimento. Uh, so I call the sculptors David. 
it's an ironic kind of mix of a culture. I always dream to live and work in London, but I just reflect about what can what can I invent to have a, a great line to expose it, to propose my work. But what not enough. Uh, so I try to propose uh, Raffaello Sanzio in this uh, really ironic way. I say sorry to the Catholic uh, way, not a provocation. And then I, I reflect about Charles Dickens, the English uh, culture. So it's a splatter way to propose my work. But it's, uh, it's a releasing dream uh, to be here. And I'm sorry, after the words of uh, really important people. And it's a big honor for me to be here. Thank you. Uh, just for finish, now we start with the presentation of the new menu. Yeah. Uh, Can I say in Italian way, enjoy your meal. <laughs> uh, we start. We present three dishes from the new menu. Uh, my idea is that vegetarian dishes are the most complicated one. It's easy to make a good piece of meat, but makes a very good uh, course based on vegetables is very difficult. Uh, what we present tonight is three, three different dishes from the new menu. That is. Uh, one is the vegetarian tata, <coughs> the, the egg tortello, and the smoked potato with hazelnut and, and black truffle. Why? I repeat, it's, not, it's easy to make a good duck. It's easy to make a good, a good pasta. Really? But mix, yeah, it's easy, okay. believe me. It's not so complicated. <laughs> yeah, I, I will try. <laughs> But makes a very good dish for vegetarian is 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 the most complicated things because mm -hmm. you work with people who want to taste the real nature, the real taste of the nature. So we try we decided to make this exaggeration and present two vegetarian dishes. Uh, obviously, we invite you after to to come back and taste the whole new menu and because tonight it was impossible to present <coughs> everything we we make a decision to present simply this one and after this we make a risotto and a pasta for everybody uh, but I want to to let you know that this one for me is the first is the end of the first year okay it's done it's close now we have another year in front of us and I, we, we are planning to mix a lot of very fun, crazy and completely new events that you never found in London with Andy, with uh, another, other friends from Italy, in particular on cocktails for example, on art, we want we want to make Sachuga something that is not the, Italian, the classic Italian restaurant, is the real Italian restaurant. Maybe real is, is overused here. Too many Italian restaurants say it's a real Italian restaurant, blah, blah, blah. But you will see, you, you can taste it. It's the, the difference when you eat Ita the Italian food. So, enjoy this. Right. These dishes, and then. Thank you, Guglielmo. Thank you, everybody. And a big thank you. And a big thank you to Eduardo Ferreira for creating the connection with us. Thanks a lot. Hello, my name is Andy. I come from Italy. I'm sorry for my English at the moment. My brain has to be connected. We are uh, in uh, a Chuga restaurant uh, and I'm trying to propose uh, my, my walk, my flourishing walk with acrylic uh, in London because I love London. It's a mix of culture, 
at all uh, picture, English picture, and uh, my culture, Italian culture, Giuseppe Verdi and Maria Callas. At the end of it, this uh, little exhibition, you can find a sculptor who is trying to mix um, the Italian cultures and English ones. So uh, you can find uh, David. The sculptor is called David because uh, in London you can find the big David Bowie. But uh, in Italy we have uh, Michelangelo Buonarroti. And the Renascimento, Michelangelo Buonarroti, the sculptor of David. My art is uh, ironic uh, visions of life. I use the flourishing colors and I try to enjoy London in, uh, in this particular night. Thank you. What's your palette? <laughs> <laughs> this is a palette. <laughs>